Hello and welcome! I'm Philip Magnus and this is my show. Now that we're officially living in the future, let's talk about games. Our first piece of news for the day involves my ever-beloved, sometimes hated company, Blizzard. Blizzard have made some of my favourite games, Warcraft, Starcraft, lots of crafts actually, but who hasn't made that joke? They've also made Diablo and that Lost Vikings game which I never played because I was not born yet. Or was I? Honestly, I can't recall. Now Blizzard are working on Overwatch, their newest IP, which is a team-based multiplayer shooter. And it is going to be, I hope, very, very good. The latest news about that, the beta is coming on October 27th, not only in North America, but also in Europe, so that's very exciting. It's not going to be a wide beta, it's going to be a very technical beta with people added in waves to see how the servers can keep up with the pressure. It's not going to be a marketing stunt like most betas are nowadays, and I hope that it will prove how, just how good Overwatch will be. And I really hope that it is, because they look, well, Blizzard looks like they are getting quite a lot of interesting ideas. Getting, putting, I meant. Blah. Along with those Overwatch news, Blizzard has announced that they are working on a Battle.net-wide voice chat system. It is first going to be implemented with Overwatch, and later, I suspect, with other games as well. I suppose it is going to be very useful for Heroes of the Storm, which is Blizzard's wizard killing simulator, let's just call it, I hate the term MOBA, who doesn't, let's talk about it later though, shall we? Right, if you want to talk about MOBAs later, subscribe. Yes. Good. But hey, when one thinks of Blizzard, one can think of... Warhammer? There's a connection there. That's where our next piece of news comes in. Total Warham, known to most people as Total War Warhammer, but that's kind of a mouthful. Do you hear it? Total War Warhammer doesn't sound at all good, does it? Why did they name it that? It should have been Warhammer, Total War. Did I just spit at the camera? Bloody hell. At any rate, Total War Warhammer is coming out on April 28th. 2016. It's very exciting news, for a few different reasons. Why? Because it's the first time that the Total War franchise is going to go completely off the rails bonkers and make some magical systems in-game. It's going to be very, very interesting and I can't wait to see what they bring to the table. The pre-order bonus this time around is a fifth playable race, the Chaos Warriors, which is very chaotic, I may say. Can I say that? Probably, probably not. The Chaos Warriors will come free of charge if you pre-order your copy of the game now. Why would you do that? Why would you pre-order? I have no idea. There are plenty of incentives to do so, though, apparently. But still, I wouldn't do it. Not yet, anyway. It's a... V it's half a year away. Plenty of time to see Collective Assembly bulk up everything in the game. Isn't it? But if you really feel like it, you can pre-order the High King edition of the game, which is really quite an awesome collector's edition. It's got a metal ring, which can actually function as a six-sided die. I have no idea how that works. And it's also got plenty of interesting content that has something to do with the game in one way or another. The core game will feature four distinct races, each with different RPG mechanics to flush out the story of the fantasy world. It's really something of uh, uncharted waters for Creative Assembly, which have so far only worked with Total War's very strategy-based storytelling. And all of that was in completely historical context, so I'm more than curious to see how they do with this. 
never been much of a fan for Total War, but hey, Warhammer gets me every time and I can't wait to see how well they do. I plan on buying it right there, right then. And the date? April 28. Last week's anger at Payday 2 developers Overkill Software seems to be doing the trick. A lot of people yelled a lot of internet angry words at them and now Overkill Software is backtracking on its microtransaction policies. It's a good start, but not quite enough. The drills, which were bought in order to open loot containers, are now lootable items in the game. So... Good job, Overkill Software. Good job. There might be hope for you yet, but please don't. Stuff that involves microtransactions? No thank you. At least, not when weapon skins add to your stats. That's not good policy. Not at all. Don't do that. Are you a fan of Halo? If the answer to this question is yes, then this next piece of news is going to make you very happy. Halo 5 might in fact be coming to Windows 10. Frank O'Connor, the director of the Halo series, has said that there's nothing keeping Halo 5 from coming to the PC. Although that's not a direct announcement, it's a lot more than an outright no, isn't it? So far, there's been speculation that Halo 5 will be coming to PC, mainly because of Microsoft's revision policy towards PC gamers. Really, the possibility of this happening is quite exciting, but let's not get our hopes up before an actual announcement. The main question to ask yourself, I suppose, is Will Microsoft allow for this to happen? Don't you just love very weird, very unusual, kind of useless, kind of badly made physics-based games? Well, I know I don't. But if you do, you might be interested to know that the two main villains in the saga of physics-based games are joining forces to make something ridiculous. Who are these two? Well, it's Go Simulator and I Am Bread. What exactly are they thinking? I have no idea, but they are teaming, the developers that is, are teaming up to bring you free DLC which is going to connect the two games somehow. Connecting to not at all to good games, actually quite awful really, with free DLC. Huh. Well. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe. If you didn't, please don't like, don't share, don't subscribe. Actually, still, please do, please. I really need it. It helps me sleep better at night. Yeah, I'm one of those attention addicts. <sighs> I'm so sad. And empty inside. I'm so sad and empty inside. So very, very sad. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!